Hey everyone, Bob here, kd 4 pmg HOA Ham. Would you get a look at the size of that thing? It's absolutely huge. Actually, as multimeters go, it's pretty diminutive in size. Compare it to common tools that you might have in your shack, and it's one of the smallest multimeters out there on the market today, and that's one of the greatest features about it. You'll find exactly what you would expect in the package, the multimeter itself in a plastic protective sleeve. Your probe leads a pack of batteries and an instruction manual that is simple but sufficient to help you understand the features in use. First up, we're going to take our ES20 Kaiweet electronic screwdriver and take that screw out of the back of the cover. I still don't know why every multimeter manufacturer in the world puts a screw on this cover. We all want a push tab that's easy opening, no tools necessary, but everyone does this. I'm sure there's some lawyer involved in forcing us into this methodology, so we'll just put up with it. The cover itself shows you the orientation of the batteries, but the screw is not captive, so make sure you don't lose that little screw. And once you put the batteries in correctly, retighten the screw and it's going to automatically turn on as soon as you put the batteries in and it will go to its default non-contact voltage feature. I've powered the unit off and back on again just to confirm that non-contact voltage is the startup mode and indeed it is. The unit has a flashlight by holding and pressing the light button for an extended period of time. And why not? We have flashlights on our Bofang UV5Rs. Why not have a flashlight on our multimeter? From here, you can cycle through all the various functions that this multimeter will perform. Of course, it can do much more than this, but primarily I use this in auto mode for testing continuity. That is the most common usage for me with the multimeter and then checking voltage on my batteries. Non-contact voltage meters are great until they're not. Always check your breaker box to be sure things are turned off appropriately. Don't trust your life to this device. It's an indicator. The probes are of pretty good quality. The wire is not overly stiff with memory, so it's easy to manipulate while you're working with it. They are color-coded so you know precisely where to put them into the voltage tester multimeter. And let's just start with a continuity test. This is my favorite antenna spike for my portable operations with vertical antennas. And next up, let's just check the voltage on our BioNO battery. And then finally, we'll stick these probes into a 110 plug that's plugged into my wall outlet. Folks, be careful with this. We're dealing with AC current at this point, and you know that can be dangerous, so don't be touching the probes while you're performing this test. Final two pro tips. I take the red cap and put it back into the black probe and vice versa on the other color. That way I always can quickly see that I have the cap there. And finally, what good is a piece of gear without a corresponding case to go with it? I always believe in protecting my gear. It's an investment. So here is a caseling case that perfectly fits this multimeter. Orient your multimeter face down so the screen is protected. And then you can take your probe connectors and orient them down in that little gap. And now here you have a perfectly good case to carry your gear. I'm a fan of Kaiweet's products. I think you get good value for your money. I've been using them for over a year and I haven't come across a thing yet that I'm not impressed with from them. I'm leaving the Kaiweets affiliate link in the description below. Kaiweets would do a little better that way when you order direct and so would I as an affiliate. If you're into Amazon, I'll leave that link as well. Of course, it's an affiliate link. And then you can Google these products independent of any affiliate links if that's how you want to roll. I like the KM601. It has a beautiful screen. Of course, it has more functionality than the ST100. And if I'm doing a great deal of work in the shack, this is what I go to. It comes with its own carry case and very substantive instruction manual. Great gear. When I'm doing just one thing in the shack, I go for the ST100 because it's small, lightweight, quick to pull out of the case. This is a case that you purchase independently. I'll leave a link in the description below. And when I'm going portable, why not grab this multimeter voltage tester to take with you because you get the functionality that you need when you're out in the field operating. This will take care of you. Hope you found this useful, friend. Talk to you soon. 73.